The Gyrodyne QH-50 drone anti-submarine helicopter was a revolutionary unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Gyrodyne Company of America in the early 1960s. Its origin lies in the United States Navy's need for a long-range anti-submarine weapon that could be operated from destroyers too small to support full-size helicopters. The project evolved from the manned rotor cycle, an experimental coaxial helicopter developed for the United States Marine Corps. DASH adopted the compact coaxial rotor design, which eliminated the need for a tail rotor, saving space and allowing for greater lift efficiency. Initially, the QH-50A and QH-50B models were built with Porsche piston engines and carried one Mach 43 torpedo. These were followed by the QH-50C, equipped with a Boeing T-54 turboshaft engine, enabling it to carry two Mach 44 torpedoes. Production of the C model reached 378 units by early 1966. The final fleet model, QH-50D, featured a more powerful Boeing T-50 BO-12 turbine engine, enhanced avionics, and increased payload capacity. It could carry two MCAC-44 torpedoes or a MEX-17 nuclear depth charge and was optimized for deployment on FRAM upgrade destroyers. The QH-50E, built in limited numbers due to engine supply issues, used an Allison 250C18 engine and could carry heavier payloads, including MECA-46 torpedoes or up to 1,500 pounds of special ordnance. DASH was controlled from the ship's combat information center and flight deck using multi-channel analog FM systems. Its expendable nature meant it used off-the-shelf electronics without redundancy, contributing to a high failure rate. Over 50% of the 746 units deployed were lost, mostly due to electronics failure, pilot error, or structural issues. Despite this, the drone was capable of silent, long-range submarine engagement, often beyond the range of the ship's sonar detection, without alerting the target. Though officially withdrawn between 1968 and 1973, DASH was repurposed during the Vietnam War for artillery spotting and reconnaissance, notably in advanced research projects agency programs like Night Panther and Night Gazelle. A small number of QH-50Ds were used by the United States Army for radar calibration at White Sands Missile Range until 2006. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force also operated DASH units aboard Takatsuki and Minagumo-class destroyers with greater success, attributed to more rigorous maintenance practices. Today, the QH-50 stands as a landmark in naval aviation history, being the first rotary wing unmanned aerial vehicle to see wide operational deployment. Its legacy lives on in modern unmanned systems that trace their conceptual roots to this Cold War-era innovation.